Hi. Um, so I've quickly outlined in a short diagram the relevant information in this problem. So we have Mercury orbiting the sun. We don't have a mass of Mercury. We do have the mass of the sun. And we have the radius between them or the distance between them. Now, our goal is to determine the orbital period. How do we go about this? Well, our assumption is that Mercury is traveling in uniform circular motion around the sun, so nor the terrible circle. Uh, that's about what it looks like. And so if we can find the velocity at which Mercury is orbiting around the sun, then we can find the period. Um, so say we find V, right? Uh, we know that the total distance that Mercury is going around the sun is 2 pi r, right? X is equal to 2 pi r. And we know that x is equal to vt. Our goal is to solve it takes to make a full revolution. And so we would get t is equal to 2 pi r over v. And so our goal is to find this velocity. In order to find the velocity, we're going to use our centripetal acceleration equations. So we know that we're experiencing a sub c is equal to v squared over r. And we know that the centripetal force in this situation is the gravitational force. And so we can set up f equals mv squared over r. And we're going to use the law of universal gravitation to find our force. And so if we're going to do that, let's be a bit careful with our masses. So we get g, the gravitational constant, times m solar, the mass of the sun, times m, the mass of mercury, divided by the distance between them, r squared, is equal to m, the mass of mercury, v squared over the distance between them. Good. And our goal is to solve velocity. So in some algebra, this gives us v is equal to square root g m solar over r. So not dependent on the mass uh, on the mass of mercury. And indeed, if you have objects going in circular motion in an orbit, it is dependent only on their radius and the mass of the central object, right? So a satellite at the same radius of mercury would travel with the same velocity, even though it has a much lower mass than Mercury does. So good, we now have velocity. And so let's see if I can move the board over here. Looks like I can, so we'll have to get ourselves some more space. Um, so since we have the velocity, we're going to use this equation that we established earlier before to set up an expression for our period, right? So that tells us T equals 2 pi r over root g m solar over r, which we can then simplify to be 2 pi r to the 3 halves over root g m solar. So this is symbolically our final answer. Now, just to be clear, you were asked for the period in days. So I'm going to leave it to you to evaluate this expression, plug in your numerical values. Note that your answer will be in seconds because we're using metric units. So you'll want to convert that answer into days. I hope this was helpful to you.